Hey everybody, it's Andrew. If you've used the high level e-commerce site builder, then this is going to be a really awesome feature that you guys are going to love. Right within the site builder itself, we now have the ability to sort and filter our products on the product list element. So right here, this is our product list element. You'll find this on the left-hand side when you're adding in an element to your e-commerce store. So if you flip on either of these, we can flip on the sorting feature and you'll see you can sort it by best selling and then a couple of others, which I'll show you whenever we preview the site. And then you can also turn on the filter function, which when you do that, you can filter it by availability, price, and things like that. So all you really need to do on this product list element is flip those two on, click save, and then when we go to preview our store, we'll be able to see what the sort and filter features look like live. So if we look at our old product list element, this is just the regular product list with a couple of products in it. This is with the sort and filter turned on. So right here is the filter toggle that we just turned on that allow us to filter by availability. We can click in stock and out of stock, and we can also reset. This whole UI looks really, really good. And then we can also filter it by price. So we can type in if we want to filter by products that are 15 to $25, then you'll see as soon as we input those numbers, any products outside of that range will disappear. So it works great. We also have the ability to click remove all. We can also mix and match these filters. So we can do in stock and a price filter. And then if we want, we can click remove all and it'll remove them all and then automatically repopulate the products back into the list. And then the sort feature is equally as cool. We can sort from date old to new. So these are gonna be oldest products, newest products, as well as lots of other ones due to old, alphabetically, A to Z, low to high, high to low. Those are gonna be the ones that are gonna be used the most. And then we also have this little widget on the right-hand side that shows us how many products are on the page itself. The only things that you need to keep in mind with this is that the sort and filter options will only be available for the product list page. And by default, when somebody loads the page, there'll be no filters applied. Again, if you want to turn this on within your e-commerce store, go to the product lists page. You'll see that within your store section, click the element itself, and then flip on these two toggle switches, and then you'll be good to go. This is super cool. I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys use this. If you have any questions about how it works, leave a comment and thank you for watching.